What's going on everyone? Brian Mello here with Marty's Buick GMC again. I wanted to give you a quick look at this 2017 Sierra Denali Ultimate that we just got in. I was out taking a couple photos of it, figured why not do a quick video walk around as well to give you a better look. Uh, so we'll make this one kind of quick, we'll do a quick walk around the outside, show you a couple of features and then we'll deep dive inside and show you what goes on in there as well. Uh, so starting on the outside, of course, first thing you notice usually is those LED surround projector housing headlamps. Uh, really cool look. They took it kind of from the Yukon. Uh, much better design in my opinion than uh, the last body design, which is actually what I drive around. What a pain that is. So it looks like upgrade time will be soon. Uh, down low you have the new LED fog lights. Uh, you can see you get the uh, front parking sensors and the front tow recovery hooks as well. As we loop around the side, you get those 22 inch Denali wheels and they are on Bridgestone. Let's get the exact number for you. They are do 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 285 45 uh, R22 inch tires. Those are all season Bridgestones. Uh, so winter of course will not be an issue for you. This is also white frost tricoat. It is a premium color. Comes on the Denali Ultimate. Float around behind the truck. So you get the rear par uh, parking sensors, you got a rear backup camera, of course, trailer hitch is all set up. You get that easy drop lift gate, factory spray in bed liner. You can see Denali embossed on the back of the bed as well. Lift that lift gate back up. I'm gonna walk back so you can get a side profile of the truck. And one of the new features for the Ultimate are these power steps. And yes, we have had power steps in the past. Just turn this radio down. Uh, yes, we have had power steps in the past, but let's say you wanted to get better access to the bed. All you have to do is give that a tap and now you can jump right up, give you a, a lot easier access to the bed. Really, really convenient. When you're done, just give it a tap. And then up they go. So really neat feature. This is a crew cab. You can see plenty of room in the back. Got the Coco Dune interior. At least I believe this is Coco Dune. Why don't I verify that before I spit out the information? Uh, Coco Maple Sugar. So that's a new interior trim color. I knew it looked a little bit different than the Coco Dune. Uh, so that is why. Got that power sliding rear window. Of course, if you need extra space in the back, you can just lift this up one handed, real easy. What you're seeing uh, here in the wrapper is all the floor mats are still wrapped up. Of course, you get the pockets on the back of both seats. You also have a power outlet right there in the back. Cup holders in the door, and you get that wood grain trim. It's actually a really nice color. Jump up front. You get that Denali door sill. Get your power adjustable seats right here, power lumbar. So you get Bose audio. Get your power mirror controls, windows, door locks, of course. All right. So I'm gonna go quickly. Let's see if, I, if it's easier to see in here if I shut the uh, shut the power moonroof. Get some of that glare out of here. Much easier to see. Okay. So uh, inside, like I said, you get your power windows, power door locks, everything here. Uh, you get your memory seating buttons right here. Headlight controls, four wheel drive on the fly, trailer brake control. Up on your steering wheel, you have your heated steering wheel, you have your front collision alert buttons on or off, cruise control. Right here, this, this will actually toggle through all the different options on your dashboard. I'll give you a look at that. If you look up on the dash, hopefully that'll focus. There we go. You can see I can toggle through all the different information. Let's fire up. You'll see those digital gauges light up. All right. Go here, go to our information. You can see I go through all the different information on the truck. Nice and convenient. You're just using this as a selector and of course anything that you wanted to 
select, you just use that check button. Uh, audio volume is on the back of the steering wheel, you can't see it, but if you have your hand right here, uh, the volume buttons are really convenient, right? These two fingers toggle up and down. Uh, over in the center, you have that big eight inch Intellink display that does pretty much everything, uh, Bluetooth, phone, um, audio of course, XM, AM, FM, satellite radio. You do have Apple CarPlay, so it does full uh, projection of your phone up onto the screen. You also have built-in 4G LTE Wi-Fi, text messaging, nav. Uh, my favorite is actually the weather report that you can get right here. Check my five day. Can even check my hourly. See what the weather's gonna be like, so we got a nice day ahead of us. Uh, down below that, you have your digital climate controls. You also have, over here on the left, you can see you get your heated and cooled seats. I'm actually gonna pop those cooled seats on now and enjoy that. Uh, below that, you have your power adjustable pedals, traction control, spotlight over the bed, parking sensors on and off, lane departure warning on or off, hill descent control, and that is for your steps. You can actually automatically leave them down or keep them up, depends on whatever your preference is. Usually I just leave them up. Below that, you get your full AC power outlet two more power outlets, and two USB ports. Console, of course, cup holders. You got your power mat, wireless charging, and giant console. Two USB ports here, an auxiliary jack as well, and then there's another power outlet too. So plugging stuff in will never be an issue in this truck. You get your upper glove box and you get your lower glove box. Above you, of course, you get the big power moonroof that I shut when I got in because of the glare. Does tilt as well, so it can either slide all the way back or you can tilt it. Got a place to keep your sunglasses. Uh, this button right here is whether or not you want your her interior lights on or off with the door. Program will garage door opener, of course, all LED interior lighting, and you have your OnStar equipped mirror. So this truck is absolutely stuffed. Uh, the only thing I think that this one doesn't have is the power uh, telescoping, uh, telescopic wheel um, for your steering wheel adjustments, but of course it does still have the manual handle to do that. And we're just gonna put my steps back. And now the window sticker on this one is, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, it is 66 thousand five hundred and forty dollars uh, you can see the Denali ultimate package is seventy four fifty on its own you do have the 6.2 liter v8 engine in this one and as opposed to the 5.3 it's just a beautiful truck so like I said I figured I'd give you guys all a look I know I did a video on a white frost Denali previously but it was not the ultimate uh, and if you're noticing right now the steps that are staying open because of the button let's put those back up so this button will actually adjust uh, to all the different modes. I press it again, now it's folding back. Press it again. Shut the door. Tucked away. So that is it, my friends. It's a 2017 uh, Sierra Denali Ultimate. It's white frost tri-coat with the uh, cocoa maple interior combination, 22 inch wheels, the power steps, pretty much every other bell and whistle that you can get in this thing. Of course, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, you wanna know more, by all means, let me know. Love answering your questions, love talking to you all. If you like these videos and want some more, help me keep my job. Uh, please like, subscribe for more videos, and uh, we'll see you soon. Take care. Enjoy the weather.